Okay, we are joined by the WAC champion, NM State Aggies, head coach Mark Track, student athletes Brooks Alice, Brian Mack, and tournament MVP Sasha Weber. Coach, uh, general thoughts on the game? Uh, yeah, I thought the kids were focused, they were determined, uh, you know, they followed the game plan, you know, Shante Goff really uh, had a good game against us, and, uh, you know, I was joking around that uh, on our senior night, you know, we were on Aggie Vision, and, and uh, we were at the, the feature game that night, and Shante went out and played very well, and she, she had her Heisman moment against us, you know, it was like uh, she played great, and, and, and she willed her team to victory that night, and we look forward to the challenge a week later, and, and uh, tonight we knew we had to limit her uh, and uh, try to limit her scoring, and I thought, uh, Mariah Mack did an outstanding defensive job there. Uh, they all did a great defensive job, but the defense was focused. I thought we pressed well. Our half-court defense, except for a stretch in the third quarter, uh, was good. Uh, I thought we made some shots. Mariah stepped up. Shanice Davis stepped up. Uh, Blondie over here stepped up and made some shots. You know, so uh, it was uh, it was a good uh, uh, it was a good game. You know, I, uh, and I, I just love the way they followed the uh, uh, they refocused after we didn't play well at the end of the year. We we went to overtime time against UMKC and then uh, we lost to uh, Rio Grande Valley uh, so we weren't playing well at the end of the year and we had to refocus and I think having this weekend going into the NC2A tournament you know uh, I, I don't want to go and have a cup of coffee I want at least a half sandwich this time so I, I, I want to at least uh, be in a very competitive game and maybe win a game uh, and I think that's got to be the realistic goal uh, of this team right now headed in the NC2A tournament but I, I'm proud of the kids they did a great job. Okay, open up for questions. Uh, Sasha, talk, talking talk to you guys this week, uh, you guys said that loss to UT RGV last week really fueled you guys. It seemed like it really did uh, for this tournament. You guys played two great games. How much did that really fuel you, fuel you guys going into the weekend? Um, well, going to this game, you know, we, they kind of ruined our senior night. So um, personally, that was a little bit of fuel for me. And I know Shanice and Abby, too, being seniors. Um, and that was our undefeated uh, streak that they snapped. So especially getting down 20 at home, we knew coming into this game, a championship game, we had to start off strong and keep the intensity up. We dipped a little bit in the third quarter, but we refocused in the fourth and uh, got it together. <laughs> Coach Track, after winning, uh, Greg Mallory back here, <laughs> after winning the WAC back to back, having such an historic season, what does that do for the program? How does that help build the program? I think it does a, uh, uh, you know, it does a lot for the program. I thought we recruited well off of the years we were building, a 6 and 24, 11 and 20 year, but we recruited well and we started a lot of young kids that eventually we knew would start winning and they did last year. So before we even started winning, we recruited well. Now that we're winning, next year's class, we're bringing in the Gatorade State Player of the Year out of Arizona, Gia Pack. Uh, and a great player uh, out of uh, Texas, uh, Aaliyah Prince. So we've got two kids coming in. We we lose Sasha, we lose Shanice, we lose Abby. Uh, we've got a lot of juniors coming back. We've got a lot of returns. As you saw in the last couple of minutes, we've got some talented underclassmen that want to see the court and, and are hungry to see the court. So the state of program's good. We're recruiting well. Um, yeah, the community's coming out and supporting us. We had a crowd of 6,000 uh, or 5,300 that we broke the uh, uh, record for uh, uh, a... Uh, a league game or, or a women's basketball game this year. We're averaging about 2,000. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's growing. I mean, we're, uh, you know, it, it, it's funny. Um, when I took this job uh, five years ago, all my uh, colleagues were like, why, why are you doing that? And I said, why? They said, New Mexico State's where women's basketball coaches go to die. You know, and then I said, well, <laughs> I need a job. <laughs> you know, so, so luckily, uh, luckily, uh, you know, well, right now we're, we're, on a, we're a really good mid-major program and you know, we got a lot coming back, and I'm excited about it. But, you know, if, instead of looking for I'm, I'm excited to coach in at least a couple more games here with Sasha and Shanice and, and Abby Scott. I, I want to go at least a couple, you know, and, and, and I think this, this team is capable. I think, um, I think if we're, we play this kind of focus and this kind of determination, I think we're going to be fine. Mark, uh, you scored 34 points in the paint. Was that something that beforehand you felt you could do, get inside on them, or did things just open up for you to, today? I, th I think things just opened up. Uh, they just opened up like that, and you know, it's nothing we did conscious. We score a, a lot of points in the paint off layups. You know, it's not back to the basket post play. Uh, we, we put our post away from the ball and try to give them dishes, but I think it's it's a lot of layups we get off our dribble drive offense. We got some ath athletic kids uh, that can get to the rim and can finish around the basket. Uh, so I think I think it was more that uh, than anything else. 
um, to Mariah, Brooke, and Sasha. Can you ladies kind of sum up like how you're feeling, you know, winning back to back, um, having all these fans out here supporting you? Can you kind of put that in words for us a little bit? Um, I would just say it's a great feeling and you know we have a great fan base so it's kind of like we were playing at home and um, there's nothing like you know winning, winning the WAC tournament and winning it back to back. Um, personally I just wanted to prove I guess that it wasn't a fluke or anything like that. I, we had a lot of people doubt us coming into um, this season uh, just because we kind of came out of nowhere coming from own five and then as coach tracks at like six and 24 seasons um, Before that and then all of a sudden we were good. We just put the pieces together So I mean this moment is immeasurable and getting to share it with my team is is the best feeling Couldn't have ended it any better than this Yeah, um, it's really exciting and I feel really proud to be an Aggie. I wasn't here last year So this is my first uh, championship with this team and I'm looking forward to three more at least. Uh, Mariah, you did a great job you know, guarding uh, Shante Goff tonight. What was kind of the, I guess, the game plan to slow her down a little bit? Um, the game plan was just to just to get up on her, you know, and not lose her. And myself and Tamara and a couple, uh, all of my teammates, we all um, were on Shante Goff at a point in time, so we all did a great job at stopping her and, and really focusing on her and making sure that um, every shot she got, she had to work for. Uh, Brooke, you know, you, you guys did a lot of good ball movement to get the ball inside of the high post, real penetration uh, to, to kind of combat their matchup zone. Was that kind of something you guys saw in the scouting report that you could beat them with? Uh, yeah, we kind of um, look for different gaps in their zones and where we could place players for them to either make plays or give the ball up to get a better shot. Uh, Mark, I know you've always been really high on Brooke Salas, you know, comes out having just, uh, I think she almost got her career high tonight, but just talk about, you know, how she's done for you this season and uh, obviously a great future too. Yeah, you know, she's, she's only a freshman and the thing about her is, is uh, she's very disciplined, she's very dedicated and she can take a lot of, crit believe me, she can take a lot of criticism. She could play, uh, this, this kid could play for Bob Knight and wouldn't have her hurt, well, might have her feelings hurt, but she'd never show it. You know, she can be pushed uh, and she is pushed. Um, and, uh, you, you know, just the demands uh, we made of a freshman and just the expectations we've, we, we've had. Um, and just watching her, you know, progress during the season and having a game like that where she goes 9 of 14 from the field and gets 20 points. Uh, I'm so proud of her uh, right now, and I'm so happy. I mean, she's very highly recruited, and she chose us on a leap of faith because, I'm, you know, I've known the family for so long. And, uh, and I really appreciate the fact that she came here and then she lived up to expectations. Uh, you know, I, I personally think she's the best freshman in the, uh, in the conference. I think she, she proved that today uh, by far. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've got a – I'm really excited about three years I wanted to step up be a leader and the one thing I was getting I, I, I call her twigs uh, because she's so muscular I just need her to get into the uh, weight room and uh, start benching a little and start curling and uh, come back about uh, 10 pounds heavier next year but she's had a great year I'm so proud of her and, and I'm very fortunate to, to be able to coach her right now uh, Sasha tournament MVP you looked a little bit surprised though when you got when they announced your name but just uh, how exciting is that and talk about that excitement um, honestly our team is so, I guess, stacked. I didn't know who it was going to go to. It could have gone to any of us, in my opinion. Um, we all had a huge role in, in this championship. Um, I guess I'm, I'm honored to be, uh, I guess, honored with the award. And I feel, I guess, a little respect from whoever or the coaches that voted for me. So um, just, I don't know, wanted to go out with a bang, and I think we accomplished that. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you guys.